Welcome to AvWeb's continuing coverage of Sun and Fun 2008. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting from the ramp here at Plant City where we're looking at the Aspen Avionics Evolution System which has just been recently certified. I'm uh, with Doug Kane, from Sales and Marketing from uh, Aspen. Doug, tell us a little bit about the Evolution and then uh, we'll zoom in on it and take a look at some of the features. Okay, the Evolution Flight Display System is a uh, line of several PFD and future MFD products. What we're looking at here today is uh, one of our uh, recently certified and shipping products, the EFD-1000 Pro PFD, which is designed mainly for an IFR pilot. It's got a full attitude indicator, actually an attitude director indicator, so if you have a flight director, that'll work on that system, as well as a full electronic uh, HSI on the bottom with a, either conventional presentations, you can overlay RMI bearing pointers on it, do arc view modes, uh, overlay nearby mapping functions, built-in air data computer for true airspeed, real-time winds aloft and direction, and a lot of additional built-in functions, including GPS steering, altitude alerting, etc. And it's designed to slide directly into the holes vacated by the attitude indicator and directional gyro or HSI you removed. Okay, uh, let's see if we can zoom in on this. Okay, here's a little better view of the evolution. Now, Doug, you told me earlier that this is a modular unit. It's designed to replace the AI and HSI or DG in an existing airplane. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how that process works, and I believe you're going to approve this with an approved model list. That's right. This, uh, again, replaces the AI or DG, slides into the existing holes to minimize installation costs. All of the, the <clears throat> key brains of the system are in a small 3-inch by 4-inch deep can in the back that connects to your pitot and static system, like the, those that you remove. The air data computer with those connections gives you airspeed and altitude. Uh, then we use digital connections to the other navigation gear and other systems, autopilot that you may have in the plane, so that that all, all comes together. There are upgrades through software and hardware, either to expand the numbers of tubes uh, or to upgrade, for example, later this year, we'll give the ability to display lightning and data link weather uh, and, uh, and uh, traffic systems on the lower half of the display, particularly in an arc mode, which is optimized for mapping. Uh, we got our TSOs and our initial approved model list STC late in March, began first customer shipments March 31st. And, and how many aircraft are on the AML? Currently we have 386 Class 1 and Class 2 airplanes, that is those under 6,000 pounds. Our plan had originally been to have virtually all of those Class 3s, uh, but we wanted to get as many as we could by our committed ship date, which we did and we're working through April and May to add the remainder. So once that's all fleshed out, by the end of May, we should have well over 600 aircraft on that make and model list. And we're looking at the Evolution Pro version here. What's the price on these uh, various models? That's right. The Pro has a list price of $9,995. We also have an entry-level pilot model, mainly designed for a VFR pilot that does not have the navigation interfaces uh, except for GPS. And it will show flight plan legs and way waypoints, but no autopilot integration in that. Uh, and that one goes for 5995 And again, it's fully a software upgradable to the Pro, so should that buyer later get his instrument tech and want to do the upgrade, he can keep the box, just do a software upgrade and bring it up to more powerful capabilities. Okay, sounds good. Uh, let's go out and give it a flight test. Okay, great. Okay, uh, we've uh, climbed out of uh, Plant City. We're established straight and level at 3,500 feet. Uh, why don't you give us a run through on this, Scott? You bet. You bet, Paul. We, uh, if you look over on the upper left-hand side, I'll just start from uh, left to right. We've got the uh, airspeed tape right here. You've got uh, attitude, your attitude indicator right here with the Chevron. The pink bars, of course, are your flight director. And uh, in my case, I'm getting that off the 55, uh, STEC 55X autopilot. If I uh, come over here, we've got the uh, altimeter and uh, the altimeter tapes, which can be, you know, shut, turned on or off. And honestly, that's one of the uh, learning curves and, and getting used to it. As, as, as pilots, we're not used to tapes unless you're used to the big iron. Uh, uh, the other bar we have here that, that kind of comes on and off is the uh, uh, vertical speed. Okay, so the vertical speed appears on the HSI, not on the AI. That's correct. Uh, which, is a, which is a design departure for, for that, these. That is correct. And, and not the airspeed trend line. There is no airspeed trend line. No, no airspeed trend line and no uh, 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 altitude trend line. There is an altitude altitude alerter, which we can set in there. And um, what it will do is give you an audio tone when you're 15 seconds out. Uh, and the airspeed bug is for pilot's reference only. Uh, I use that, like I said, in this aircraft for uh, 120 knots. Because we climb out at 120, we do the approaches at 120. Uh, that, and, and again, that's for pilot reference. It does not control the autopilot. Uh, same way with the uh, altitude alerter. 
Uh, what you can do is you can establish an, uh, whatever altitude that you're going to, and when you get when you get within uh, 15 seconds of that, it'll uh, pop up and tell and, uh, and give you an audio tone. But whatever you get the the, the, feed, yeah, the feedback, right? A little chirp, and it says minimums, which we'll do in a second when we do the approach. Where, where's the reference for center glide slope? Uh, it, on okay, all right, right here, the the, the bar. See the, uh, the bar. So we're a little bit we're a little bit high right now. What am, what am I referencing against the diamond? Yes, against okay. the diamond. Right. And then same way here, the diamond for left and right, diamond for up and down. Okay, got it. Okay, and there we go. go. Yeah, you have the airplane. Go ahead and push up or down, and you can see watch the diamond move. As you can see from this video, the Aspen Evolution plays nicely in a panel of an older Cirrus or any legacy airplane equipped with Garmin navigators. For more detail on the Evolution, see the June 2008 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine or click on the podcast button on the AvWeb homepage and then the more button. You'll find a photo podcast with additional information. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.